I want to preface this by saying that I'm not Muslim, I'm Jewish. By the way, if you are Muslim, I hope I'm not being disrespectful. This is just my experience in reading the Quran for the first time. Assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace. What I'm about to show you next is truly unbelievable. But I've noticed something, and I'm sure a lot of Muslims have also noticed this, that through, you know, this entire thing with Palestine, so many more people are learning about Islam, and so many more people are reading the Quran. I've read the Quran. I love the Quran. I think it's a beautiful piece of text. I think that it's wonderful and it has so much incredible history in it, just like so many different spiritual texts and religious texts. But like, it just makes me laugh. Y'all are about to get a lot of converts. <laughs> Y'all call them reverts though, right? That's really interesting. Like reverting to Islam. That's really interesting. That's an interesting concept to me. Yeah, we gonna have a lot of people turning to Islam soon. <laughs> I've seen people be like, wow, this is really interesting. <laughs> Honey, you're next. What I'm about to show you next is truly unbelievable. But from the other side of things, things that maybe you didn't think about. With all the sadness that we're seeing on the flip side, Allah is the best of planners. We got people saying that what's happening now is another Holocaust. And they're saying Alhamdulillah. And quotes like, I haven't seen any footage of them even cursing Jews. Another person said, these people are people of God. Another lady was shocked to the core seeing the faith of Muslims. These are just some of the quotes. Let's go ahead and get into this video and I'll get you a free gift on what they're talking about after we come back. 100% feel comfortable saying that what's happening now to the Palestinian people is another holocaust. And they're still saying, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Muslim Palestinians still seeing them say, Allah is all-knowing. Palestinians are doing everything that was described Job doing in the Bible. I've not seen any footage of Palestinian people cursing Jewish people or Israeli people. These are people of God. I know these people were blessed by Allah himself. The yeah, old faith is, is such an indomitable hope. They don't give up about this life. Okay? The only thing these people fear is Allah. That's it. If this is the campaign to, to get nations to be Islamic, it's doing it. I've been shocked to my core at the faith Muslim people have. What is happening in Palestine has opened my eyes to the beauty of Islam. That's something that people don't get to see often. Definitely not here in the West. ...to the Bible, asking logical questions were not allowed. When I read through the Quran, I see logic and divinity brought together. The result of that is on social media, I have seen so many people picking up the Quran and reading it. Through, you know, this entire thing with Palestine, so many more people are learning about Islam. So many more people are reading the Quran. You're gonna have a lot of people turning to Islam soon. It's happening again. It's like all these people, I see Quran book club, I see people deciding to convert to Islam because they're like, well, what, what is really going on here? I just bought my first copy of the Quran. I got the Quran. I started reading the Quran. It's my day two and reading the Quran. Literally, are thanking God. Seeing the brave Palestine people as they're losing everything. So much faith and peace while their families are being murdered. United States, we need a lot more empathy and understanding of Muslims in the Arab world. I need to know what y'all put in Islam, okay? I need it. Just from reading the second surah, I'm like, I get it. I understand why there's such a steadfast faith to anyone that follows Islam. Being shown just how wrong we were about this faith and how rich, how like, how deep and just the language of it. Oh, how fluid and beautiful it is. We've been lied to, the Western people. And I took my Shahada. I feel tremendous peace. And I'm going to be reading it forever. Wow, that is just truly amazing. You wouldn't think about that, huh? Allah is, they plot and plan. Allah plans. Allah, God Almighty, is the best of planners. So we're seeing the flip side of things, some things maybe you didn't even think about. And yes, we pray for those innocent human beings, innocent souls 
And inshallah, Allah, while we're crying for them, inshallah, they, God willing, will be rejoicing, inshallah, in Jannah. We have to be positive even at times like this because they're being positive at times like this. And what about us? What do we have to cry for uh, compared to what they're going through? It's a great reflection for us to, to really count the blessings that we have, to really be thankful if they're able to thank God Almighty Allah in those dire situations. What about us? What excuses do we have? Are we making salat? Are we connecting with our Creator? In salat, minimum five times a day. Are we adhering to how Allah SWT wants us to, God Almighty the Creator wants us to live? Are we just stuck nagging and complaining, not satisfied with all the abundance of things that we have in this life? I mean, it gives us a lot, a lot to unpackage and to think about. And you see that people at this in these moment, dire moments, it's impressing the not yet Muslims out there. They're seeing like, wow. So earlier today, I made a video saying how impressed I was with Palestinian faith because it just seems that Palestinians have this ironclad faith, even in the face of losing quite literally everything. And people were commenting underneath saying, well, yeah, girl, that's Islam. Have you read the Quran? You should probably read the Quran. And... I have time and I was also curious as to what how how even in at, facing genocide is Palestinian faith so strong and so I decided to go on script to see if there was an audiobook version of the Quran there is and so I started listening straight off the bat what I'm a fan of <laughs> there is no introduction I even thought that I I accidentally skipped over something because it gets straight to it. Like there is no once upon a time. <laughs> there is no in the beginning. There is none of that. It was like, all right, if you do this, then this happens. If you do this, like it gets straight into it. And by the way, if you are Muslim, I hope I'm not being disrespectful. This is just my experience in reading the Quran for the first time. I'm on, I'm on like chapter four of like 117. But I found some things very interesting. Like first it said, oppression is worse than murder and i was like that's a word and then it was saying um it was talking about divorce and i didn't know divorce was allowed divorce is allowed in the islamic religion or islam religion and it was saying how if you're a woman and you get divorced you have to wait three periods i don't know how long a period is but you have to wait three periods and then it's, you're okay to remarry girl like go find your husband and it was saying if you're a dude and you divorce your wife and you haven't touched her yet, but you promised her a dowry, you still got to pay half that shit. I was like, feminism. And then there was um, a part in there that I was surprised about. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like the Christian religion where um, if somebody slaps you, you got to offer your other cheek and everything. Because that always bothered me. Like, I'm like, if, I, if somebody slaps me, I should be able to slap them back. In the Quran, it says if somebody fights you, you fight them back. Like, if whatever they do to you, you do to them. And I was like, Absolutely. So far, it's been a time. With bombs flying all around them, they're losing family members and their children, their loved ones, and they're still thanking God Almighty. And they're saying these are people of God. These are uh, these are signs for them. And they're coming to Islam now. You see these people. These are only the people. The few, these are just the people that we're seeing. Imagine how many are out there. They're, they're, they're not on camera. How many people are being affected th through this? And they're actually looking into the Quran. And that's the gift that I want to give you. If you believe now by, by seeing this, and you go ahead and take the step to see like even more like what is the fundamental belief of Islam and Islam means submission to the will of the creator of the heavens and earth and that's how you get true purpose and peace in life by submitting to the one who created you the God Almighty the creator of Allah he sent messengers through time and they came with the same message that message wasn't different different contradictory religions it was always the same that concept of submitting your will to the one and only creator of the heavens and earth not to a human being not to an angel not to your ideas not to money not to fame not to your ego but to the one who created created you, the one that Jesus prayed to, the one that Moses prayed to, the one that they called human beings to submit to, and Prophet Muhammad was just the last and final messenger sent to mankind. So Islam is built on that pure monotheism of only worshiping the Creator and not His creation. If you can dig that, everything else, God willing, will fall into place. So while we're crying, while we're sad for the departure of our brothers and sisters there, Allah is the most wise, Allah is the most just, they're inshallah seeing the other side and they're rejoicing in joy. And we make dua that we can unite with our brothers and sisters, our loved ones in Jannah. Now with that said, I promised you a gift. You can go ahead and go to the deanshow.com to get your free copy 
of the Quran. This is what you're seeing that is having them, the people in Palestine, the people who have bombs dropping on their houses left and right and center all over the place. And they're still finding that resilience, that faith is strong. It's because of this this book, the Quran. And if you go to the deanshow.com free, if you're in the United States and I believe in Canada, we can go ahead and ship this to you for free. Thank you very much. I thought this is amazing. Wanted to share with you. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos that we put out. If you've benefited, hit the notification bell, share, like, and we'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. This guy right here, this guy's guys trying to build a Dawah center in our country. I'm not talking to you right now. You're a solo. You're trying to build a Dawah center here. Islam is violent by nature. My Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. This is exactly why we need the Dean Center, because we have over 300 million Americans who know nothing about Islam, like this guy. You want to have a talk? Yeah, this guy's trying to build a Dawah center in our country. And Surah 9 is the most violent chapter of the Quran. The Dean Center will be a source of light, a mega Dawah center, an educational center, helping our brothers and sisters in humanity truly understand Islam and Muslims. And brothers and sisters, remember the great rewards of just guiding one person in humanity to the truth is better than everything in this dunya. So get in on all the rewards and blessings. Click the link below, donate right now. May God Almighty Allah reward all of you.